everybody out there in Hot Rod Land, it's Phil with Carcraft Classics. Coming to you today to show off some new inventory. Got a beautiful square body pickup truck back there to show you. We'll get to that in a minute. Got that 14 Corvette, that'll be going up on the website soon as well. But this is Carcraft Classics. For those of you watching the video for the first time, we're located at 321 Canton Road, Cumming, Georgia, 30040. Uh, let's see, my uh, shop number is 470-239-4977. My cell is 770-317-1415. We can be reached via email at carcraftclassics at gmail.com. And be sure to visit us on the web at carcraftclassics.com. There's our, uh, our work truck there. If you see it going by, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Always chasing hot rods in that rig. Let's take a quick look inside the lobby here. We'll get to that square body in just a minute. I wanted to give you a walk around the shop. Got some, got a Riddler wheel display here. We do sell wheel and tire packages, although I will admit they've been hard to come by with the pandemic, but we're working on that, trying to get new inventory here. So here we go. This is the old showroom, couple offices in the back. Some hot rod mailboxes here. 55 Chevrolet style. Those are 275 plus shipping. If anybody's interested, let me know. Kind of cool touch for the car lover, classic car lover, I should say. A little set of wheels here waiting to go on one of our builds. US Mag Ramblers in chrome. It's a 2220 combo. Take a quick peek in the back here and show you what we got going on with inventory. We're a little light right now, but. We're working on it, guys. We just like to get the best, so sometimes we got to walk away from some things. But the old Z28, for those of you watching our videos, you know we've had that a while. The uh, purchaser or buyer just decided to leave it. He's involved in another build. Got the 70 Barracuda. We've had some interest in that, but uh, so far she's still here. Picked up this beautiful 86 Chevy C10 square body. I'm going to put our little stamp on it and go through a few things that need to be addressed, and we'll have that up on the internet. Picked up that 62 a couple weeks back and been working on a few little things, buttoning up a few little things that we uh, want to take care of, but that's a 450-plus horsepower truck. Gorgeous. Lowered, 3D3 stroker, aluminum heads, serpentine belt system, gorgeous custom interior. Man, that's a good one. My personal favorite, the 54 Caddy. Absolutely love that thing. Runs well, looks even better. Got that in a week or so ago. 65 Mustang. High end, high, high end restoration. Every piece of chrome has been polished, replaced. Uh, soup to nuts. That thing is just either you know completely restored each part or uh, brand new parts re replaced it. And just a gorgeous one. We'll be we'll be taking care of that one too. Uh, soon getting it up on the website. I'm just waiting for uh, restoration details on it so I can fill you guys in all the details of the restoration. Got an 85 here. I've been waiting to get started on that guy. That's the truck that's getting those uh, the 2022 combo we saw in the lobby. Those chrome ramblers will be going on that truck. We have quite a bit of work to do on that truck before it'll be ready. But it's coming up next. This is the shop, guys and gals. Some Another set of wheels down there. For that blue 86 C10 I showed you before, those white steel wheels will be for sale soon. Got the dually back there that's sold, waiting for uh, the customer to come pick that one up. And we've also got a K10 out at paint right now. Beautiful frame off restored 86 Chevrolet K10 pickup truck. Red with red interior. We'll be getting that up on the website too. All right, so here we go. The star of the afternoon. Beautiful 82. Don't see him every day. 82 Chevrolet C10. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Don't even know where to start. Let's see, I got a little build sheet here. Let me go over that real quick. And then we'll do some, we'll go over some other details on the truck. Be sure to show you every end angle of this thing. It's just gorgeous. Absolutely love it. We've done quite a bit to the truck, but let's go over here real quick. Some of the things that have been done. Let's see on the interior. Bench seat's been covered. New carpet. 
rewrap the dash, new AC vents, door panels, door sill plates, glove box, and window felt. Uh, as far as lowering, it is a 5.7 drop. It's got CPP spindles, springs up front. It's got the Western chassis flip kit in the rear. Beltec shocks, brand new all the way around. Let's see what else we got here. The paint is about uh, a year or two old. Plenty of paint on it for those that want to cut and buff it and make it a show quality paint job. But man, it looks good just the way it is. New front and rear bumpers, new grill, new headlight bezels, new emblems, new body trim. And the new and the correct body trim, the Scottsdale, looks great. The black up against the, uh, the blue paint. Show you that in just a minute here. Wheel opening moldings, and then the locks and the rubber around the front windshield and the rear windshield. Uh, window vent rubber has been replaced. Window channel rubber as well. And get a load of this engine compartment. Yes, I'll show you the truck. Just be patient. But uh, I'm real proud of this engine compartment. And the reason why is because we actually pulled out the old tired 305, which it ran and drove, but it just was tired. And we put in a brand new... 350 cubic inch V8 engine. This engine comes with a four year unlimited mileage warranty. Again, it's brand new. And for you guys and gals out there that build these trucks uh, like we do, uh, you know there's a common problem with it. it. It's tough to stop. I mean, parts are readily available and they're usually not that expensive. And, uh, and we had a problem with this one. We, we went a little too far, but, uh, but anyway, when we replaced the engine, we did, of course, all the uh, accessories that needed to, to be replaced, all new belts. Um, the AC was running great, but we had to put a new orifice tube in there. But uh, that's all running good. But even the exhaust manifolds, you see, they've been blasted and cleaned up. Frame rails have been treated as well. Steering shafts been treated. We even went out to AMD, Auto Metal Direct, and I highly recommend if you're building one of these uh, classic cars or trucks that you use them they sell all the sheet metal for these classics and now uh, we got ourselves a set of inner fender wells also that's a brand new master cylinder and booster as well uh, there's the other side inner fender well uh, battery tray had a little bit of surface rust on it of course it's it's old 30 plus years old so we replaced that as well installed the new battery like I said, all the belts, everything have been replaced. Truck runs like a top. Accessories up front that didn't need replacing, we left. Uh, treated them, you know, cleaned them up, repainted them. Just looks gorgeous under here. New AC compressor. New upper radiator hose. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You can see there's a new blower motor installed over there. Yes, it's an 82, but boy, under the hood... 2021 put a new pad up under the hood you know that's something that a lot of guys forget that drives me crazy one of my pet peeves for sure uh, you got to replace that can't leave it looking terrible with a new engine under the hood but. super straight truck super rust free undercarriage looks great as well again the whole front end is new it's got a new grill and I believe that's one trim level up from the Scottsdale that grill. The gentleman Wayne I got the truck from explained that he did that when he replaced the grill because he wanted that Chevy bow tie emblem in the middle. And uh, so anyway, new grill, new light bezels, new bumper, new chin spoiler, and of course the USA one front license plate. You gotta have that. Now get to see the whole truck man look at that thing so it came in with those uh white steel wheels and chevy caps uh powder coated steel wheels which they did not look bad but uh just the more we did to the truck the more excited we got about it the more i wanted to put on a little bit of uh you know upgrade the wheel and tire combo so that's what we did we end up going with 20 inch staggered us mag ramblers in chrome uh, that's a 28 and a 2010, or actually I think that's a 29 and a half in the rear. Tires wise, we use uh, 245, 45, 20 and a 275, 40, 20 in the rear. But look at that paint. And look at that trim. Brand spanking new. 
Again, this is not an original paint truck. It's been painted, I think, about two years ago. And uh, it looks great. It's a metallic uh, type of medium blue. And uh, it looks great just the way it is. But if you really wanted to, you know, cut and buff it, make it into a show quality, you know, show winner, I guess you could do that. Doesn't need it. Again, not to be redundant, but it looks beautiful just the way it is. Rear sport bumper's been installed. New trim was... Uh, replaced on the tailgate as well mm. man it's a sweet truck I found one or two little dents in the bed floor there's one right there they're hard to find it's gorgeous back here as well I know you guys are probably tired of uh, hearing me gush about this truck but I can't tell you how nice it is I can't impress upon you enough how well put together this build is it's just gorgeous it's got the rear band molding going across the cab and you know again we're in georgia you see the uh c10 club of georgia sticker there these guys do a great job Leave those a new tail light lenses. We didn't do them, but I think they were done before the truck came to us. <clears throat> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous old square body pickup. No dents in the body that I can find. Dings. Uh, you know, rockers are good. Cab corners are good. Just a good, solid truck. Transmission was leaking. We had that all resealed. Of course, as I mentioned, the, the engine is brand new. So there's no leaking going on there. Just an old truck with a new heart pumping. Let's see if I can give you a look at the top of the cab before we jump on the interior. Hopefully you guys can see that. I can't really see up there, but hopefully you can see the top of the cab. Paint's in great shape up there as well. Man, that's a beauty. Take a look at those wheels up close. Let's see here. Again, that's the US Mag Rambler in chrome. Of course, these trucks all came with power disc up front, drums in the rear. This one's no different. It's got that same brake setup. Again, it's a 5.7 drop, spindles and springs up front. Uh, Western chassis flip kit in the rear. New Beltec shocks all the way around. And boy, does she go down the road well. Lights work, gauges work, AC works. Like I said, the thing we had to replace, I think we got a new compressor and uh, that orifice tube was leaking. So we got that replaced as well. Let's take a look inside. Again, this is a Scottsdale, so it's got the roll-up windows, which, you know, I've grown to love because it's just less to go wrong. You know, I like the power windows, but they're usually slow on these trucks and uh, they can be problematic. Power locks, eh. I could take him and leave him. Again, that uh, that dash pad has been rewrapped. Came out excellent. Has a real nice leather look to it versus the plastic, uh, you know, look and the replacements or the covers. The seat, I know it's there's some shadows there, but I'll get still shots for all you guys and put them on the website at carcraftclassics.com. Uh, we'll make sure they'll be sh uh, shadow free. But just trust me, this seat is in excellent shape. The cover is brand new and the cushion feels brand new. There's those rockers I mentioned. They're in great shape as well. It's got the steel headliner up there, but you know, all painted to match. See the light, cargo light for the inside or the... Uh, Interior light works. And one of my biggest pet peeves. Thank goodness. 
got enough keeping me up at night. But if I see one more guy cut a hole in the dash to put a goofy square stereo in one of these cool classic trucks, I'm going to lose my you-know-what. Thank goodness they didn't do it in this truck. It's got the stock stereo system. All right, here's the gauges. You can see the bezel has the uh, a little piece of tin or aluminum has been removed, um, which I like much better. They never look good. They're always beat up and stained and bent. So I like the black. It's just a cleaner look. It's got brand new carpet in it. Show you that. Blue carpet to match. And I'll set a little uh, floor mats in it. Kick panels are in it. I mean, there's no corners have been cut while building this truck. She is a beauty. New door panels. Just super, super, super clean. I's dotted, T's crossed. Let's fire this thing up. And that's it. And she's running. You can see the gauges are working. Not sure how accurate that, I'm sure that oil pressure gauge is a little, a little off. What are you going to do about the old trucks? Um, the amp gauge is working. The temp gauge is working. Speedo works. Gas gauge works. Everything's working. AC, as I mentioned. Nothing like a brand new engine and a classic pickup. Again, had a 305. Now it's got a 350 with a warranty. So... That warranty, of course, is transferable. It goes with the truck. Four years, unlimited mileage, as I mentioned. She's ready to enjoy the day it's, uh, it arrives in your driveway. And speaking of that, we can help, help you with shipping. We can help you customize the truck. I don't know what else you'd want to do to this. Maybe, I don't know, upgraded steering wheel, maybe, uh, if you don't like that stock look or... Maybe a new set of gauges. I don't know. The gauges work, but some guys like these new gauges. We do too. Dakota Digital has a great set. Uh, we can do that for you, but uh, I don't want to get you sidetracked. This truck is turnkey ready just the way it sits. The other thing I want to let you know is that we can help with financing. Our preferred lender is JJ Best. They've treated our customers very, very well. Very easy to deal with. Competitive terms, rates, etc. Just give me a holler if you have any questions about that. Again, my name is Phil. I'm the owner here at Carcraft Classics. And my number is 770-317-1415. That's my direct number. The shop is 470-239-4977. All right, let's get down to the brass tacks. I know the big question on everybody's mind is what are we asking for these trucks? And I know that they're super popular and that a lot of people are asking you know, $35,000 for these trucks. And I don't begrudge those guys and gals. I wish you the best of luck. We're just not going to do that. We're trying to keep things somewhat affordable for the average person so they can, you know, afford one of these classics. And despite all of the upgrades and the great restoration and customization of this truck, it's still, it's still under 30. We're going to ask $27,500 we're going to be pretty firm on that price, so low ballers beware. Don't waste your time. Twenty-seven five is the asking price, and we think that's more than fair. If you have any customization ideas, like I said, or shipping, or financing questions, or questions about the truck, just let me know. Again, my name is Phil, and we'll get all still shots. We'll do 50, 60 pictures. We'll get them up on the website, carcraftclassics.com. I want to thank you so very much for watching the video. And checking out our 82C10. There'll be more videos coming. Thanks again. Be safe. And God bless America.